Hello, how's everybody doing? So I've gotten a big request to predict some of the Nations League matches that are coming up this week. Honestly, I'm a bit nervous to do this because predicting scores and all that is a bit tough. But screw it, we're gonna try our best. We're gonna be predicting the Nations League match day five, the one that's coming up. I'm probably gonna screw most of these up, but yeah. Once I do the match day five review, I'll be looking back at this video as well. So first up, we've got San Marino versus Gibraltar. I think Gibraltar are gonna win this match 1-0 against San Marino. It's either gonna be a draw or a win for Gibraltar. I really don't see San Marino winning, and if they do, it would be quite a massive win because I don't think they've won in a while. Correct me if I'm wrong. Next up, we've got Malta versus Andorra. I'm gonna say this match finishes 1-1. Other match in this group, Latvia versus Faroe Islands. I see Faroe Islands winning this match 2-0. They've really been in form recently. Haven't lost a match yet in this Nations League. Bravo to them. They did get one draw, but they do have a lot of wins as well. So I think they're gonna continue their streak. They're gonna get a 2-0 win this week. Azerbaijan versus Montenegro. Azerbaijan have not been as good as I thought they would be. And Montenegro, are honestly pretty impressive. They have had some slip-ups, but overall pretty decent. I think Montenegro are gonna win this match 2-0. Cyprus versus Luxembourg now. Luxembourg have been pretty impressive. They've been winning a lot of matches, more than I thought they would. They're gonna beat Cyprus 2-1 this weekend. Germany versus Ukraine. Ukraine had an impressive win against Spain recently. Despite looking at the stats, they still beat them 1-0. But I think Germany are gonna be bossing it. Looks like a lot of their players are starting to pick up their form, such as Warner and Havertz on Chelsea. Warner seems like he's got his scoring boots on for the London club. I'm gonna say Germany win this match three to one. Switzerland versus Spain. Spain obviously are the favorites for this, but you can't write off Switzerland. I think this match is gonna finish one one. Switzerland have not gotten a single win yet in the Nations League, but they did get two draws. I just see their defense and their keeper being a bit hard for Spain to match. And yeah, we'll finish in a draw. Portugal versus France now. Super tough match to predict. They both have the same amount of points in their group. Three wins, one draw. Both have been looking insane. Ronaldo did just pick up an injury. I don't know if that means he'll miss this match or not. I don't know how severe the injury is. But even if they don't have Ronaldo, that team is looking like they're on fire. So many of their attackers have been on form. Look at Yota, for example. And just look at the rest of their squad. They're sick. So obviously France is a world-class team as well, but I see Portugal winning this match 2-1. to one. It's going to be close, but with or without Ronaldo, I feel like they'll pull off a decent result because France also play some of their youngsters to kind of experiment things with the Nations League. They still pull off good results, but I just see Portugal edging this match and winning it 2-1. Other match in this group, Croatia versus Sweden. Big match for both these sides. Neither of them have the opportunity to get first or second in this group, but they're still battling to not finish in last. So Sweden are a good side, but I just don't see them beating Croatia. I think Croatia will barely win two to one. I mean, I'm obviously hoping for more, but yeah, I feel like Croatia will barely pull off this win, but they'll get it at the end, two one against the Swedish side. Next up, North Macedonia versus Estonia. I think North Macedonia will win this match one nil. They've been looking pretty good. Sometimes they do dip in form, but overall, Pretty good stuff from them. Georgia versus Armenia. Both of these sides have a massive match coming up because they're pretty neck and neck on points and results. So I think this match is gonna drop 2-2. Slovakia versus Scotland. Both of these teams are still eligible to qualify for Euro 2020, but they have not yet. Scotland seems like they know how to clinch these wins and defend properly with not as many chances on target. Slovakia do look a bit shaky at moments. They have been slipping a good amount of times recently. I feel like Scotland's gonna win this match 1-0. The other match in this group, Czech Republic versus Israel. This is a tough one because Czech Republic is Czech Republic. They've been pretty decent recently, but Israel have been looking good too because of Zahavi. Zahavi's been scoring in all of these matches, honestly, kind of carrying the team with these goals. You know, on paper, it looks like most people would say Czech Republic would win, but I'm gonna give it to Israel, actually. I feel like they're barely gonna win this match. They're gonna win 2-1 or something with two Zahavi goals. I could be totally wrong, but screw it. I'm putting it there. That's my possible upset for the week. Next up, Turkey versus Russia. Looks like Russia have been killing this Nations League tournament. I think they're gonna have an interesting battle with Turkey. I think it's gonna finish 2-3 to three with Russia winning this match. Serbia have been pretty disappointing in this Nations League, but everyone knows you can't underestimate these guys. I think it's gonna be a tough one for both of these sides. It's gonna finish 1-1, a draw. Belarus versus Lithuania also I think will finish as a 1-1 draw. And the other match in this group, Albania versus Kazakhstan. Every team in that group is looking pretty even in terms of points, and I'm surprised Albania is embossing it, but I think they're gonna get a win 
this week against Kazakhstan. Not a big one, but a win. 2-1. Next up, Netherlands versus Bosnia. Bosnia have drawn to both Netherlands and Italy in the past, which is pretty impressive considering these are the two favorites in the group, apart from Poland, which is also a great side. But I think Netherlands are going to get a really small win against Bosnia. It's just going to finish like 1-0 or something. Netherlands also aren't looking super clinical in front of goal, but they are still getting decent results. 1-0 for Netherlands. Italy versus Poland. Poland look like they're picking up their form again now that they've got Lewandowski back on the national team. And for that reason, I think it's going to finish 1-1. Italy obviously being the favorites, but can't write Poland off. You got the best striker in the world. There you go. Now we've got Bulgaria versus Finland. Bulgaria not looking super strong this year. I think Finland will win this match 1-0. Wales versus Ireland now. Wales are going to win 2-1. Wales have been absolutely in form. Maybe they'll slip. Ireland is a solid side, but looks like Wales are doing pretty well as a team altogether. Can't see it happening. 2-1 for Wales. Slovenia versus Kosovo. Slovenia are top in this group. Kosovo are still looking like they're putting up nice battles against these sides, but they're not doing too well themselves. I don't know how Rashica's injury is doing, to be honest. I know he did pick up one. I'm going to say Slovenia win this match 1-0. It's going to be close though. Moldova versus Greece. I'm going to say Greece win this match 2-0. Who knows, maybe Kosovo do draw or lose to Slovenia. Greece can take that first place spot from Slovenia. England versus Belgium. This is a hard one to predict because, I mean, usually I'd put Belgium at the end of the day, but some of their players are dipping in form. Not all of them are super consistent. England, on the other hand, also did beat Belgium last time these two teams faced each other. I think this will finish in a 2-2 draw. Denmark versus Iceland. Iceland are really, really dipping in form. I think they're going to mostly focus on the Euro 2020 spot. I'm going to give this one to Denmark. A 2-0 win for them. Austria versus Northern Ireland now. I think Austria will win this match 3-1. Solid side. Northern Ireland, decent. But Nations League has been a bit shaky. I think they're mostly going to be focused on that Euro 2020 spot. Austria is winning this match 3-1. Romania versus Norway now. Norway are going to win this match 2-1. Probably for the same reason as Northern Ireland losing. But yeah, Holland overall is consistent. Sometimes he doesn't pop off. But still a better side. I feel like they'll get the win. And they're looking better right now in the group. Obviously things can change and these are just my predictions, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Where did I screw up? Always interested to see what you guys think. Obviously I'm going to be doing the Nations League reviews this weekend as well, so stay tuned for that. If you aren't subscribed already, please do and leave a like on this video if you did enjoy. I'll see you all very, very soon. Looks like we got an interesting week ahead of us. Lock and